Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about Viterbi decoding algorithm. Normally in communication, the message bits are first encoded from the transmitter side and then it is transmitted and it is received at the receiver. But this is only the ideal case. Practically what happens during the transmission of the coded sequence, it may be affected by the noise or any other external factors and at the receiver side and we receive the code with error. So we need to decode the message and in addition to this, you need to correct the error also. So we have a powerful tool for this which is called Witterby decoding algorithm. So before starting the process of uh, decoding algorithm, first we should know uh, some basics of trellis diagram. The detailed explanation of how the message bits are encoded using trellis diagram, uh, it is given in the description below and you can see it in the pop-up also. Here I'll give a little glance about the trellis diagram. So basically trellis diagram contains two things, one is the input message bit 0 and the input message bit 1. So these are represented like a 0 is represented as a solid line and 1 is represented as dotted line. And in trellis diagram we have two states, one is present state, another one is next state. So we'll start with a present state A. So if the present state is in uh, A and if the message bit is 0, that means solid line, it will move to A itself and it is producing a code of 0, 0. And if the message bit is 1, it is moving towards B and it is producing 1, 1 as code. And similarly, if the present state is B0 and if the message bit is 0 and it is moving towards uh, the next state C and it is producing the code 1, 0. And if it is 1, it will go to D and it is producing 0, 1 as code. In a similar way from C it is moving to A with a code of 1 1 and it is moving towards B if the input is 1 and it is producing 0 0 as coded sequence and from D it is moving to C and again it is moving to D if the input is 1. So this is the basic trellis diagram using this logic we should decode the received sequence at the receiver side. So let's get started with the problem. Decode the received sequence. A sequence is given. We need to decode it using Bitterby algorithm. The first step here is we take the received sequence and write it in pairs. Okay. And then here is the received sequence. We'll start drawing the trellis diagram. So we'll start with A. And we know from A we have two possibilities. The input is uh, 0, that is solid line. It is going to A itself and it is producing 0, 0 as coded, coded output. And if it is 1, it will go to B and code is 1, 1. Next, we should take the received sequence first set, which is 1, 1. And now we are going to compare 1, 1 with these two codes, that is 0, 0 and 1, 1, right? So let's take the 1, 1. Let's compare 1, 1 with 0, 0. So if you see here in two bits, bit positions, we have difference. So here also we have, the instead of 0, we have 1. Here also we, the, it changes. So what happens? We take the Hamming distance for this code as 2. And if you see second one, which is 1, 1 compared to 1, 1, there is no difference. So the Hamming distance is 0 here. Now we can start with A1 and draw the trellis diagram. So from A1, if the message bit is 0, it is going to A2 and it produces the code 0, 0. From A1, if it is 1, it is going to B2 and produces 1, 1. It goes on. Now again, we will compare the second set which is 0, 1 with these four codes. So let's take the first set which is 0, 1 and 0, 0. Here the difference is in one bit position. That means the Hamming distance for this particular set is 1 and we have to add it with the previous Hamming distance. That is 2 plus 1 gives you 3 as metric. Similarly, we will compare 1 1 with 0 1. Here the Hamming distance is 1 and with 1 we will compare this with the previous which is 2. 2 plus 1 gives you 
3 and here the Hamming distance is 2 and this will be added with the previous will get 2 and here the Hamming distance there is no difference between 0 1 and 0 1 so the Hamming distance for this particular set is 0 and we'll add it with the previous and we'll get 0. Again we'll continue to draw the trellis diagram by referring to the trellis actual trellis diagram that we have seen previously and now we'll take the third set which is 0 1 and then compare the 0 1 with each and every codes we have generated. Now let's see the first set which is 0 1 and 0 0. Here the difference here is 1. It will be added with the previous which is 4. And if you see this particular node we have two uh, lines entering into this node. So we have to find the Hamming distance for this also. So here 0, 1 compared with 1, 1 we have the Hamming distance as 1 and it will be added with the previous node. The previous node is 2. So 2 plus 1 gives you 3. And similarly we have to do it for the remaining things. And at this point we cannot proceed further. The reason is we have 2 metrics for single node. So at this point we have to eliminate the highest metric. So here 4 and 3 the highest metric is 4. It is eliminated and its path should also be eliminated. And here 4 and 3 the metric and its path gets eliminated. 5 and 0 the maximum metric and its path and here 3 and 2 here 3 gets eliminated along with its path. Now we have only one metric for every nodes. Now let's continue drawing the trellis diagram. Again we will take the fourth set which is 1 0. So again we will compare with individual codes 1 0 with 0 0 we have the Hamming distance as 1 and we will compare it with or we have to add it with 3. So we add, that means we have selected 3 for the next step so 1 plus 3 gives you 4 and similarly we have to do it for 1 1 compared with 1 0 we will get Hamming distance 1 and it should be compared or it should be added with 1 plus 0 which is 1 and for 1 1 also here we have 1 Hamming distance it should be added with 3 and it will be 4. So in similar way we will do it for the remaining nodes. Now at this point also we have to eliminate the highest metric. So here 4 and its path gets eliminated, 4 and its path gets eliminated, here 3 and 4. So this path in the node gets eliminated. So 5 and 2 here 5 and its path gets eliminated. Now again continue drawing the trellis diagram. So by referring to the actual trellis diagram we can draw this diagram and again we'll take the last set which is 0 1. Now we'll compare and we'll get the metric for each and every node. So at this point we no need to cancel in, uh, the highest metric for each and everything because we have analyzed all the received sequence. So at the last point what we should do is just look for the smallest possible metric here. The smallest metric is 1. So this path should be selected. The so metric and its corresponding path is selected. Now we are going to draw the survivor path. We will start from this point. So this is the path that is selected. From this you travel towards the selected path this way. And here we have two options, one is eliminated, so this is the way and this way and finally it reaches the first one. So this is the survivor path. So how to write the corrected sequence here? Just look at the survivor path, so here we have 1, 1. So the received sequence is 1, 1, the correct, corrected sequence is 1, 1. There is no error here. So if you see here the received sequence is 0 1 here the selected path is having the code 0 1. So here also no error 
and if you see the set, next set here we have 0 1 and here also we have 0 1 as code so no error and here 1 0 but here the selected path contains the code 0 0 so this is the corrected sequence this is the received sequence there we have error and it automatically corrects the error and finally we have 0 1 and here the path contains 0 1 as code finally we have a received sequence and the error at this point is corrected here by using the trellis diagram so here's the error and here's the corrected sequence now let's decode the actual message that is transmitted at the transmitter side how we are going to find that just look at the survivor path for this path we have dotted line we know dotted line means one so the decoded message is one so here we have dotted line so one and here it is solid line which means zero one and one so this is the decoded message that we have obtained from the Viterbi decoding algorithm I hope you have understood this. Now let's try it by yourself. Decode the sequence using the Truby algorithm and post your answers in comment box. Thanks for watching.